Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. There are quite a few scenarios where you need random rotations of MoGraph clones but quantized to steps of 90, 60 or 45 degrees. And here is how you can do that. I'm gonna start with this scene where we have an arrow object in a cloner and as you can see all of the arrows are pointing to the right. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to add a plane effector. So I select the cloner and then I go to the MoGraph menu, create a plane effector and deactivate its position activate its rotation and set its heading to 360 degrees. Now it seems like nothing was happening but if we go to the effector tab and move the strength slider here you can see that the arrows are actually rotating and this is what we are going to take advantage of because if we now set the strength to 50% for example the arrows are pointing to the left. If we are setting it to 25% they are pointing up and if we are setting it to 75% they are pointing down. Okay, so let's set them back to 100% and now let's go to the fall off tab. And in here we are going to create a random field. Now with the random field in here you can see that the arrows are pointing towards random directions. So we somehow need to quantize the rotation. And we can do that by selecting the random field and then we go to the remapping tab and under contour we're gonna set the contour mode to step. And now we can set up the count of steps that we want to use. And if we set it to 4, we get the steps at 0, 25, 50, 75 and 100%, which means that we quantize the rotations to 90 degree steps. Now if we want to use a quantization of 60 degrees, we just have to type in 6 in the steps count. And if we want to use 45 degrees as the quantization step, we have to use 8 as the number of steps. And this is how you can create quantized random rotations of MoGraph clones in a very flexible way. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, and subscribe.